Hi, I'm Miriam Infanti, a reading specialist in the Centennial School District. In this video, I will focus on chapters 11 and 12 of A Parent's Guide to Phonics, understanding how to help your child with reading and spelling. Chapter 11 focuses on spelling and chapter 12 focuses on how to help your child with spelling. In the Centennial School District, we are committed to supporting students in literacy learning. Phonics instruction is an important part of helping our students learn to read and spell. Thank you for watching this video and for your commitment to support your child's growth in reading and spelling. What is spelling? In previous chapters, you learned that reading and writing uses the alphabetic code. Spelling is the reverse of reading and is described as encoding. The step before spelling a word is segmenting. Segmenting is splitting the spoken word into its sounds. Your child may demonstrate this skill to you by tapping out a word. Segmenting is a skill that children need to be taught and given time to practice. Like a lot in life, the more practice a child has, the better they apply the skill with ease and accuracy. In school, your child is learning how to read and spell using phonics. As they develop more complex reading skills, their writing skills will also be developing. Students will transition from segmenting and spelling short words like bug to longer words with more than one syllable like perfect. Students will begin writing short sentences and simple phrases, but eventually will be writing short stories, poems, and recording information that's learned. So, how can you help and support your child with spelling? When your child isn't sure how to spell a word, encourage them to think about the word they want to spell. Segment the word and identify the sounds. Then write a sound spelling to match each sound. At the end, look back and check their work. You may find it helpful to draw lines on a piece of paper or whiteboard to represent the sounds in a word and see if your child can write a letter or letter combination to represent the sound. The lines can serve as a guide for your child as they segment. Let's practice this suggestion of how to help your child. Take this example of working with a child who is wanting to spell a word. Ask your child to think about the word they want to spell. Maybe it would be the word boat. Let's guide the child to segment the word into sounds, saying all the sounds in the word one by one. B -o -t. When encouraging your child to write a sound spelling to match each sound, keep in mind that their development of the alphabetic code will be a factor. Your child may not have learned certain sound spellings yet, but they will eventually. Visual resources, like a sound spelling chart, can be helpful for students to reference. In this example, a chart like you'll find at the end of the book may help your child know that the vowel combination O-A will help them spell the long O sound in the word boat. Looking back and checking your child's spelling is just another way to give them opportunities of practicing and developing the skill. Thank you for tuning in today. If you haven't received a copy of A Parent's Guide to Phonics, Understanding How to Help Your Child with Reading and Spelling, please reach out to your child's school office. In conclusion, learning to read and spell is important for all children. Every child is different and grows at a different rate, so we need to consider the individual needs of each student. Please remember, that it can take three or more school years for your child to work through a phonics program. Be prepared to support your child for quite a while as they learn the foundational skills. If you have concerns or questions about your child's progress, please reach out to your child's teacher or school team. This video concludes our series on phonics. Thanks again for your time and dedication to supporting students as they learn to read and spell.